Okay. How come it's out? Uh, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Does this work? No. <laughs> it doesn't. Oh. It's the left. Okay. Okay. Hi, I'm Coco. I'm a seventh grader. Hi, I'm Jester. I'm a seventh grader. I am Possum, and I am an eighth grader. I'm LJ. I'm an eighth grader, and we're from Westside Middle School. We are all misfits. This, this is our poem, Embrace, Embrace Us. Us. Trigger warnings for bullying, trauma, self-harm, suicide, racism, transphobia, and homophobia. <laughs> we check all the boxes here. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. In, in every middle school in America, America, children are afraid to be themselves. Gender stereotypes are hurled at them as fast as bullets from a gun. No man will love you if you don't shave. Boys can't wear pink, be a man. If you don't fit into their perfect mold, then, then into, into the incinerator you go. In every middle school in America, diversity is frowned upon. Now prejudice is trendy and cool. Silky white skin is the reminder of self-worth. But anything else is a stain of being diverse. Somewhere, Somewhere in Nebraska, Nebraska, an Indian girl stands sheepishly in the lunch line, scrunching her nose against the pool water smell of, of the, the school's tandoori chicken. Before she can pay for her food, she's assaulted by abrasive attitudes. Hey, half-breed. What even are you? Dot head. Pasty white girl stare at her as if she were an alien. Then turn to the brown girl. Do you think you go or miss up for me, hon? What, what does, does that, that even mean? mean? One of the girls picks up the sad excuse for Indian rice on her tray and throws the white hawk grains the girl like, like some, some demented, demented wedding guest. guest. The sting seeps through the girl's skin, adding to the scars her words cause. Somewhere, Somewhere in Texas, Texas, a trans boy trembles to hear substitute calling attendance because that boy knows that he will never be understood. But the jocks say that being dead named is nowhere near as scary as tearing your ACL. The preppy girls say that smudging your mascara is way worse than being born in the wrong body. The, the guy the governor says his parents are abusive for even raising him. Nobody around him understands what it's like. They just understand how to yell transphobic slurs in the halls. How does what is in someone else's pants affect you? Somewhere, Somewhere in Florida, Florida, a Christian girl is looking at herself in the mirror and crying because she cannot stand how she looks. She, she looks. She looks at herself and wonders why she, she can't, can't be skinny and pretty like the other girls. She cries and cries, wishing she could cut pieces of her away and, and throw, throw them in the trash. trash. How could God love her? If she doesn't love herself, she starves herself and harms herself. Red, Red wine dripping from her skin, skin, pulling a silver crucifix along her arms. A bloody Bible below her, she says a prayer to die. As she closes her eyes, gluttony is a sin. Forgive me, Father. After she's gone, this overindulgence shan't plague, plague me. me. Somewhere in Georgia, a quiet kid sits in the back of the classroom, counting down the minutes until class is dismissed. They're shaking hand, pushing the pencil head against their papers, etching images their mind could not process. Pay, Pay attention. attention! Are you a mute? Why don't you talk more? Open your mouth. They're not quiet because they don't want to talk. They're, They're quiet, quiet because they, they don't, don't want to hear their own voice. voice. Speak up. You don't know them. Talk louder. They're kind. They're funny. Emo. They write pretty peach poems in their free time. Why, Why do you, you judge, judge so harshly? We, we dream, dream of a day when people like this Indian girl, this trans boy, this Christian girl, this quiet kid will, will be not only tolerated, not only accepted, not only dealt with, not only heard, but, but embraced in every middle school in America. America.